the main photo shows a skipper butterfly and the video you can see is a door beetle or dung beetle and the photos show a slug and a mushroom probably didn't need to tell you the last two so this is a wildlife watching vlog which means well my approach is it's not full of selfies in fact there's no selfies at all I always have the camera pointing away from myself so I can look at the wildlife and the view so I'm visiting Belgium I love bird watching and wildlife watching in Belgium Freudian slips I do like bird watching a lot um, I'm, I've gone to the Forêt d'Anlier which is in the east and I think it's a very good spot I think that I really enjoy some of the walks here here we've got some general views of the area I've got a book out called Birds of Belgium which you're welcome to pick up at the time of recording this for free it's been such an unpopular book I've ended up going oh well I might as well just give it away for nothing because the I'm getting such bad reviews it's just dragging all my books down I don't, really, I don't really understand why well I think I can make a guess Belgium doesn't have the absolutely outstanding wildlife that other places do which means if you try and write a book about it if you're going to be honest about it <laughs> It, it doesn't kind of, it's not quite as punchy but I still think it's a great place to go especially depending on the kind of holiday you're going on if you're traveling just by by car or by motorhome or something or by caravan then it's a great place to stop off depending on which route you're taking whether it's on route I just didn't talk about any of those photos that track you just saw I think was a roe deer track and did you spot the mushroom I suspect that hole was um, eaten by a was a little hole that had been eaten by a mouse. This is a door beetle, which I always just call a dung beetle because I think it's a better name. That I encountered on the path. Now let's have another look at the forest. There is hunting allowed in this forest to quite a large degree. Which, which I think must affect the amount of wildlife that you can see. I've been to other very, very similar forests, for example in Luxembourg, which are more heavily protected and seen and heard much more wildlife. So that's definitely a downside of going here. But I still... Oh, anyway, let's, let's, let's get back onto the positive. This is a great spot for butterflies. It's on the way back on this particular walk, which you, if you want to... You don't have to like freeze frame, you just go to my blog or, or just download my free books, uh, Birds of Belgium book and you'll find out all the information about this walk. Anyway, this is a great spot for butterflies. This is a ringlet butterfly now, the previous one was a large skipper. And this is the upper side of a ringlet butterfly. So, east of, Be east of Belgium, lots of options. Here's a second spot that I went to, known as the High Fens. It's an area of bog, but also many other habitats as well. The High Fens South, site number 5 on this map, I think is a great choice if you've only got one day because it is very mixed. Lots of different habitats here, including this classic sort of High Fens bog habitat. I typically see things like shrikes, pipits, um, lots of flowers that's the main things that I see at this particular spot so let's go through some of the flowers this is a common bistort I think common is an appropriate name I've seen it all over Europe this is cotton grass again I've seen this all over Europe typical of boggy ground and this is a foxglove And we're about to see a marsh thistle. I used to get very puzzled by marsh thistle, but having sort of read up about it, it seems it's not actually necessarily a flower of the marsh. I think it may have been slightly accidentally named marsh thistle. I've also seen it a lot in woodland. And just to finish off, trying to trying to sell Belgium a bit, check out this fantastically well-maintained path through the bog. Lovely boardwalk. And I do cut the end bit where I fell over because trust me it's not a great idea trying to do this but I didn't manage I fortunately I didn't damage the camera hey thanks for watching 
Check out my other videos, check out my blog, etc. Bye.